Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. But what you've got to do is you've got to have separate... you, you got to filter your lines. That's essentially what you, you end up having to do is you've got to filter your lines. So if I was to put this up through here, what I basically want to do is I want to get a line of these down through there. And I want to get them so that I've got... I'd say that's got to be our line. Because there, I, I can put that in. And I can put another one over on that side. And I'm not getting any mixture. So I want to bring the next one down. That one's going to go there. That one is getting mixture. Uh, that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to have a line. I'm, I'm going to do a couple lines here. And they're going to feed sideways into both of them. You, you'll see You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. We're going to want... Well, I've, I've got a few belts to go and do this with. So we're, we're not too bad. I want some of these. I've only got 16. I'm going to need more than that. Because I got these. I've got 418 factories in there. But I don't have very many... Fa I don't have very many mines that, uh, miners that I'm making at the moment. Six, 16's enough. Six, 16 is enough to be going on with. That one, and then that one, and then that one down there. I don't want to go any further than that. And then if I go this way, I go up through here like this. Right. So what I basically got is those are mixed. Those two there are not mixed. These here, they're mixed as well. That's coming down. That's actually a bit too close. If I go and lift these up, I lose the mining drills, don't I? Yes, I do. Right, well, never mind. I'm going to lift them up anyway. I'm going to lift those two up. I want to go back a little bit from here. I want to put it... I want to start there. That's where I want this to be. So that one's going to go there. Actually, I don't need to do that. I could just rotate it. Uh, but these, I want to lift them up out of the way. And I want to lift you up out of the way as well. Right. And then I'm going to put them back down again. But before I start putting them back down again, I'm going to go to there. One... And two, I'll make ten. Okay, I'm not going to make another five. I'll just, I'll just make ten of them. And then I'm going to put a line of these up through. So that one mining drill there will actually mine perfectly. But I'm not going to worry about that. And then that one can go here. And I'll put them up to that point. And then that's going to go up through there like that. And that's going to be the other red ones that we're going to be pulling off of this. I'm gonna. I actually go. I'm gonna take this all the way up to the top. Can't go any higher than that with this one. I can put that one in there. Tell you what, I will remove that one. You'll see why. I will turn that one. That one's gonna go into there like that, and then we will put power over in that corner, and I'll put a power line in there as well. And then we take a belt here, and this belt runs all the way down to that point, and then it stops. And then I take a splitter. That splitter goes out here, and I go into there, and I filter out the sapphire ore like that. And that's going to go onto the right-hand side like that. And then this one will go in this wise direction. And it will actually head back up here. Go over, and that's going to go up there like that. I'm going to mix that one in. I'm going to just blend that one in with everything else. That's going to go in like that. Um, so that will keep it running on both sides. This one down here, not quite so worried about. Oh, actually, no. I'm, I'm going to put that one. I'm going to mix that one in as well. So um, if I side feed it, it doesn't really do a great deal. But if I do that, it then will mix everything in that comes into it. And it mixes it into the lower belt down here. So we get all of the ore that we get coming off of that will feed into here. And then all of the rubite ore, that goes up here and that goes onto this belt up here. So everything does run its way through. It, it does actually all fit in. I want to run these down here like this. And then I want to take some more up this side. They'll go up there like that. You need to connect in there. 
And there I've got my belts right. I've got my new mining drills running. I've got a shortage of power on here, admittedly. But I've got these mining drills running. They're bringing the ore down through. They're cleaning this bit out. And then they're also taking the other rubite ore up this way. And that is going to be running through this system as well. So all we got to wait on is the robots to bring in the rest of the items over here. And then we can start that start the whole system up and have the um have the lead coming through i'm just trying to decide what is going to be the best way to have the lead coming in here and i think what we're going to need to do is we're going to do a little section just here if i put that one there like that and dump that through there then you can go underneath like this and uh, there, there, and you can feed into there like that. That will be absolutely fine. So we'll empty out that chest, and then it won't be used again, because everything will just come off of here, and it will all be tickety-poo and wonderful. There will be no problems anywhere. It will be like we're living in paradise. It will be absolutely wonderful. So I do need to set you going, so I want rubite ore crushing going in there, and I can run along and set that for rubite ore crushing, and then I want to join some... Actually, the power lines are already joined. As soon as they place down the rest of the power lines, that is going to be fine. So I need to work on this one over here. Now, I've got coal coming out here. It's not coming out as fast as I'd like it to. I want more mining drills so that I can get more coal being produced. I want faster belts as well. So if I do five there and do five there, they're going to make those just for a second. And I don't need to do anything more here. That will start up automatically once the robots have finished dropping everything in. No. What are they waiting on? Oh, I haven't quite got enough power poles for them. That's what the problem is here. I don't quite have enough power poles. If I I want construction blocks. Oh no, I've got them. I've got those. I've got the in. I, I I'm gonna need more inserters for my next little project. I'm gonna want the coal as well. I'll take that with me. And the belts. We'll take those. I will leave that behind. Like that. And I want to put those in there. Uh, pick up. There's six of them being picked up. Let's drop in another 25 in there. It's now saying there's eight being picked up. So I can remove several. Remove another several like that. And remove another several there. So there's still eight of them being picked up. There's two of those being picked up. There. It's two being picked up. Right. That's that's all we're going to need in there. There isn't anything else that is needed. Is there? It's just those power lines to go down. Hopefully they're going to put these in place. There's one there and that one. I'll put them in place and everything is firing up. Excellent. Right. And we got those two over there. These don't matter so much. It, it's running. As so long as it's running, that's all that really matters. We're producing tin, uh, lead, sorry. We've already got lead up there. The tin itself, we're producing tin in a reasonable quantity. That means that's going to go and flow through the rest of the system. And it's all going to be used down here. Next, I just want to have a look in here. I think we've got too many of those being set at the moment. So if I limit that for a minute... That means then the rest of them will come over and we'll get some more mining drills being made rather than all of them being turned, all of the materials being turned into those. Um, so then the mining drills, I will also limit those the same. And then the other materials can go elsewhere. Probably the best way to do this. How many of these have we got? We've got 90 construction robots in our system right now. I think that's probably going to be enough, at least for the time being. We will hold off doing any more for now. So I'm going to... I've got those two. I guess really what I want to do is... If I click that one out of the way... I'm going to do that. I've just picked up 47. 
crawler robots. I've got... Wow, I've, I've got loads of them on me. Oh, I went and picked up a load up the top as well. So now in that system there, I've got 43 construction robots. So if I drop 50 of those in, it's now 93. I want to put another 7 in there. I want exactly 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There. I've got 5 of them. I'll be able to go and use those elsewhere in a bit. So there's 75 in there. There's 100 in total in that network. We're going to go over this. Actually, I suppose I need to be building stuff as I run around. So let's get started on building stuff as we run around. Uh, not production. Intermediate products is a new one. That's the steel plates that we can start making and manufacturing as and when we might want them. We don't need them just yet. Resource refining. I don't need any of that. It's Angel's Power that we want. We're going to need steam engines. Now, fluid boxes is something that I don't have. Mechanical parts, I'm a bit limited on those as well. So I want to go and get a chest of mechanical parts so that I can swap a few out. And there happens to be a chest of those right over here. So let's take a couple stacks of them like that. That's going to help us along very nicely. Construction frames. I've got seven, I have 500 of those. So it's only the fluid boxes. And the fluid boxes, to make the fluid boxes, Angel's Blocks, fluid box, I need the construction frames, and I need iron pipes. So they're actually fairly simple to go and make. I just need to be able to make iron pipes. I don't have anything making iron pipes for me, but I don't think I need to either. Now, where did I go and put the iron? I had some iron. Had it kicking around. I had a chest of it all the way over here. So we're going to go and grab a little bit of iron as well. One, two, three, like that. That's probably enough to be going on with. And then I can go into production. No, I don't. I want to go to Angel's Power. And I want these. I'm. How many have we got already? Before we commit to anything, how many have we got? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 20 engines, 10 boilers is what we're going to need in here. So I want... 10 boilers, 5, 10, and then 20 of these. 5, 10, 15, 20. That's going to be another big lot that we can go and do. The fluid boxes take a while. There's seven and a half seconds for each one to make. So it is going to take us a minute to put that lot together. Uh, carrying around an awful lot of stuff. I need to get rid of some of this. I'm going to go and ditch this tin I'm carting about. I'm not going to just ditch it any old place. I'm going to bring the tin and I'm going to bring it over this side and I'm going to drop it into the manufacturing down here. Because this is where I feel it is needed most. So I will put... I'm going to take 200 like this and I'm going to put 200 into each of these. Like that. There. Right. That's gotten rid of a whole load of tin and that's... Bumped that up just by a little tiny bit. The production of these... There we go. Doing a great job. That's going to keep the robots busy as well for a minute or two. They can go and feed everything through. And then I can head back over this side. I've already, got, I've already cleared a little bit of space on me. And then I've got all of that coal. We're going to need that coal. Because the problem is that we're getting power dips now. So as the power dips, the um, basically it's a vicious cycle. Power starts to dip, which means that the coal... Now, the only time it does this, really, if power is dipping because you're not getting enough coal, enough fuel supplied, the power will start to dip a bit, which means that the coal supply starts to slow down a little bit because the mining drills will slow down. And then when that slowed amount gets round and back over to the power supply over there, it slows down further because... Uh, you've got less fuel coming in, so you have less boilers being used, and so it keeps going until eventually the whole thing will just grind to a halt. So you've got to be able to identify that fairly early on. I mean, this is not just the case with the system we're using with uh, Bobs and Angels. This is, the, this is just standard across the board. This is something that you've always got to be aware of when you're playing Factorio. If it starts to dip, 
you are already in trouble. You, you are already on borrowed time if it starts dipping. That's something you've always got to be aware of, is you are on borrowed time the moment it starts dipping. Um, so you, you, you've got to work around that as effectively as you possibly can. Right, I'm moving those out of the way so that I can go and set the next one in here. We've got... Going to be upgrading those, I would think, eventually. So I'm going to start making a few of them myself as well while I'm racing around. We'll set a couple hundred of these like that there. Well, it's not a couple hundred. That's like a hundred. Um, hopefully, they'll be able to go and build some of them at least. And then what I want to do is I want to go here like this. I'm going to manually build this whole setup that I'm doing down through here. I'm not going to try and do it with the robots because I've left the robots over the other side. So we don't need them at the moment. Now, that's powered on there. And I've got five more of those that I'm still waiting on. I'm just waiting on the fluid boxes. As I say, the, the fluid boxes are a bit of an issue. And we don't need them that often, which is why I haven't worried about them. But they are a little tiny bit of an issue in the time that they take to actually manufacture and it's it's a little bit tedious having to wait for them. So I'm just wondering if there's anything... There isn't really anything I can do to speed those up. We, we, we are just going to have to wait for them. What I can do, though, just to help us out for a minute... Because you can see we're now slowing down. I want to just show you this. Just to really emphasize it. See how slow that is now going. See how much the coal supply is dwindling. I've still got these burner electric generators over here working. But eventually it'll get to the point where there is just no power at all. And then these will shut off. Right? And as soon as those inserters shut off, then you're really in trouble. If the, inser if the inserters shut down, you are... that That's it. You, you're really, really in trouble. And you can see this here. Everything is starting to shut down. The, these are very, very rapidly closing down and shutting up shop. And they are not interested in doing anything. So we're going to help them along a bit. I'm carrying a load of coal. This is a stopgap solution that we're going to use. We're going to dump all of the coal that we're carrying into those. And that is just going to ram that up a little bit. It's not at full satisfaction. It's not enough. But it's enough to speed that up. And instantly you can see the difference with the amount of coal that is coming out here. I mean, look how pitiful the quantity of coal is on that belt. Compared to what we've now got coming out of here with just half power. It's such a difference. It really does. It makes a genuine, genuine difference with all of it. And I am looking around to try and find... Where's my boilers gone? Um, There. Ten boilers. Okay. That's got to be that way around so that we can put the pipe in. We want to run those all the way down there like that. That's in exactly the right spot. Now, if we're using the basic game, that is pumping speed 600 of 1,200 per second. It's exactly half. You can power 40 steam engines on one pump. That's the ratio that you use. One pump, 20 boilers, 40 steam engines. That's your basic ratio. These boilers and these steam engines are the base game ones. And then after that, they increase and you get much better things coming out of them. So if we look in here, for example, and we go to Angel's Power right there. The boiler 2, max consumption 3.6. Consumption 60 per second for water. It does the same with the water, but it consumes a lot more fuel and it produces a higher temperature. That produces 165 degrees there. If you look at the bottom, generate steam output 60 per second, 165 degrees. This one here is output 60 per second, the same. So the water consumption stays the same. It doesn't change. But the temperature has gone up to 315 degrees. That one there consumes 30 per second at 165, max output 900 kilowatts. So you can put two of those on one of those, yeah? Fairly straightforward. This one over here consumes 30 per second, but it does it at 315 degrees rather than 165 degrees. So if you've got 315 degrees steam, your max output is 1.8 megawatts. So essentially, if you can upgrade your boilers to the boiler 2 so that you're outputting 315 degrees steam, 
it will consume more fuel. It does take quite a bit more fuel to do it. Uh, you're then, and you upgrade your steam engines to level 2, you double your output. You double your energy output by doing it like that. And that is a really awesome thing with that. And then we go from 1.8, we go to 2.7. So it's no longer, it's not doubling for the next step. It's just adding another base step, essentially, is what you're doing. 2.7, then up to 3.6, and then up to 4.5. So each step increase, um, you're essentially squashing it down. And you're, you're adding another multiplier in. Um, I would, you know, it, it, it's really cool. This particular, this jump here to go from steam engine to steam engine 2, you double it up. You're doubling your output. That That is really cool. I, I love that little bit. It doesn't stay like that, though. Now, these here, we've got constant consumption, 54 megawatts. Output, 54 megawatts of heat. That one outputs 72. That one outputs 90. So you've got three different reactors here. Uranium, thorium, and a deuterium. Is it de deuterium? I'm not quite sure what that one is. Uh, we've got fluid burners, uh, you've you got various other ones, so we, we won't worry about those now. None of that actually really matters at the moment. What really matters for us at the moment is just setting this up so that we've got our um, second round of these in place. But we're also going to want to get as much coal over here as possible. It's going to be quite important that we can max the coal out on the line as well. So we, we do need to get those running through. And if you look in here, that's how fast it's burning through coal. Everything's running flat out. That's how much coal we're using. We do use a frightening amount of coal. Once it really gets going in this game, once, once everything really starts firing up, you start to use some pretty scary amounts of um, fuel to keep all of your power going on this in in, in, in all of it and it's it is it's, it's like I, I look at the numbers and it, it starts it's genuinely like quite how on earth you, you look at it and you, you start you really start to think how on earth am I going to keep everything running like that where am I going to get these massive quantities of fuel from I don't think I've got the capability to produce this much fuel I just don't think I've got it and that's one of the big challenges with I found with Bobs and Angels is getting the fuel to keep everything running. Right, and in there, we've now got water going through all of them. And I've got an extra line of these in here already. And we're now producing enough production right here. 23 out of a potential 31 megawatts. And we need to sit around and wait for the remaining 10 steam engines to be produced so that I can run a line of those up through and we can really future-proof ourselves. As I mentioned previously, we've just um, completed our research on the, the most recent one. Artillery is the thing that we want to work towards. We want to be able to get artillery so that we can commence long-range bombardment of the other islands and then we'll be able to expand. So this is everything that we've got to learn in order to be able to get artillery. And we need to be able to just keep following all of these lines down through until we get there. So I'm going to... This is what I'm going to do. This, this is going to be my target now. We'll work on the ones that we know that we can do at the moment. So we're going to bring in some basic chemistry. It's going to be our next one. And we're just going to keep picking out anything that we can currently do that is going to work towards that target of getting the artillery. Uh, the other thing that we've got, I've just finished another lot of research. We've already got steel pipes and bronze pipes down here, like the two steel pipes underground right there, max length 15. That does 15 underground, and these three do 11 underground. Uh, I haven't unlocked the next range of belts just yet but we will be getting that one pretty soon and we'll also be able to do some upgrades here crafting speed here on these that crafting speed for the assembling machine is crafting speed one and then the electronics assembling machine which is smaller and it is limited on what you can do however it is a lot faster that one is a crafting speed of one compared to that one there being crafting speed of 0.5 it consumes the same amount of power 
So that's the, the really good thing about it, is it doesn't like produce massive amounts of extra power compared to what everything else is doing. We got everything working quite nicely now. The Bobmonium is flowing through really well. We've got maximum power being pumped out for everything as uh, like on top of that. The belts are all running fairly clear and running fairly full as well. We're bringing this down through. I mean, yeah, the tin could be stuffed a bit fuller than it is. But generally speaking, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way things are running at the moment. Like, if we, if we look all the way through the base, we're producing things at a pretty reasonable rate. The paper is perhaps the only bit that's the, the slowdown point on here. It's not a major slowdown point, I don't think. Uh, the brown algae seems to be the biggest issue. Out of all of it, it seems to be the brown algae is the one that is causing the problem. I've got... This is completely full on there. And we're taking some out and we're turning it into the alginic acid over this. No, that's the alginic acid. We're taking this out. I think I need to get another one of those. If I make another one of those right there... I think that's going to just improve the overall production inside here. So we, we can just do that. Say so It's not going to take very much to work our way through here. I can take that one out. And I'll remove that one a second. And then all we've got to do is just bring that down by a little bit. Rotate that over. This actually needs to go there like that I probably want to put a belt there I think let's just move a couple of these back out of the way we can put the right we can put the factory in there and then that bit can be removed that'll be able to come up then I want to put the splitter that I took out. That one I'll actually put there. And I'll go into here and I will filter out the cellulose fiber like that. That one will come in. We will copy that and we'll paste it onto here. That one I will move over this way so that then I've got that belt there. Going up and round onto there except that those two bits of acid right there i don't want them going out actually i want to put them in there because i've got a few of them that i'm i'm picking up there i'll drop them in there and i'll drop i'll keep the cellulose fiber on me and i can take one belt drop it out on there and that's going to keep that one moving this belt over this side goes back there and then i do that one and those two are exactly the same so i just drop those two into there and then I go boom and boom and I've now got one extra of these that is producing so the next bit that we've got a slight problem with is I don't have enough brown algae coming through and being produced on here I've got these electronics ones electronics assembling machine I don't think I can use that to replace these I might be able to. That's the, something that we may be able to do. I don't think it is, though. I, I don't think that is really an option. I'm not sure that we even want it to be an option. We'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Now, I've got 200 belts now. I did go over and get a few extras. So I'm going to run through here like this up to that point. I'm going to swap that one over there like that. And then I'm going to... Take you that way, and you're going to go that way. So I've got 178 of these that I'm going to run all the way along. Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow, and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirp... Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.